Hi there. I'm going to apologize in advance for my hair, the light, whatever. You know, it's not a uh, professional production here. Broke out my lead loader kit earlier to show a friend who had never seen one how they work. Um, I hadn't had it out in five or six years myself. I've forgotten how much you know, basic fun they are. He is limited due to circumstances and where he can and can't reload and money to buy reloading stuff. So I thought this might be a good idea for him. Uh, they work very well. Uh, they're not as cumbersome as a lot of people think they are that haven't used them. And I know a couple of folks on the board have, uh, have expressed interest in these and some curiosity. So I thought I've got five bullets left. I had a couple cast bullets left and I loaded him up a couple. And I have five cast bullets left. So I thought I would show uh, what's involved in actually using a lead loader. Um, so we'll load these five up and see how it works. I'll give you a quick introduction to what the kit consists of. Basically it comes with everything you need to load. Um, this is for expanding your case miles. Depriming. Um, this is both your bullet seeder and your primer seeder. Let's show it how it works. And this is going to be your resizing die, powder funnel, and crimper. And this is a little animal thing we'll use as we go along. I'm loading with a 0.3 cc dipper. Um, I recommend if you're going to use one of these, you go ahead and spring for the whole dipper kit. This comes with a 0.5 cc. The dipper kit will expand the number of powders you can use. Um, I, I weighed this charge earlier. This is exactly what it weighs, and it throws 3.3 grains of tight group, which is the powder I'm using. Uh, I'd never actually thrown a series of dies before to see, or uh, charges before to see how consistent it is. And once you get a consistent method down, it's quite consistent. It was more consistent than my lead powder powder measure. Uh, I consistently threw 3.3 grains time after time. A little bit of practice to perfect your, uh, you know how you do it and you'll get a nice consistent load every time. Consistency is going to give you one of your keys to accuracy. So, we'll go ahead and get started. These cases have already been deprimed before I broke them out, but I'll run through real quick how you do it anyway. Throw your case up here, stick your depriming tool, stick it in there, give it a tap. The only tool that this doesn't come with this kit that you need is going to be a mallet or a rubber hammer. One dollar at a dollar store, this one was. I tap the primer out, so that's already been done. Run over here, stick it in the resizing die, pound it in. I like using this concrete block. It's nice, it's quiet, and it gives you a nice firm background to hammer. Take your primer, put it on this side of the, you know, the tool there, set your case on top of it, grab this thing, your hammer. Now, you'll fill a seat. You probably wouldn't want to be swinging this thing from over your head or anything. Give it a few taps and you'll fill it seat. Check to make sure it's seated, which it is. All right, tap down. Pound the case out. A little more gentle than you might need to be, but I'm a little bit shy about popping primers. I've done it a time or two, and it's no big deal, but still, I'd rather not. Especially now when I'm doing this for posterity's sake. Take your uh, flaring tool, stick her in there, give it just a couple gentle taps. And that will give you plenty of, in case it's flared plenty. Set the tool back on top. Take your dipper, and like I say to keep consistency, don't it the same way every time. Throw your powder in. Stick your bullet in. Your bullet seeder. Down. You can adjust this to whatever, whatever depth you need. Pound it in. Turn it over. Give it a little tip, a little, a little tap. Uh, you, you don't want to be well in this either, or you're going to end up with one heck of a crimp. One little tap like that gives me a nice, pretty crimp. I'll hold it up there for you to see, but it's pretty much just a you know, cast bolt 38 case. Uh, let's get the next four done without any extraneous commentary so you can see about how long it really takes. Like I say they've already been deprimed. I'm not going to go through a useless step again.
cat who is most curious about what's going on in our living room. Because this usually isn't being done in our living room. But the handy thing about these is you can do it anywhere you need, including on your tailgate at the range. They haven't done this in about five or six years, so you'll know some extraneous stuff off this stuff back and forth. Once you get a system set up on this, you can actually put it on a pretty good tip. You need to develop a touch with your crimps so that you get nice consistent crimps on there. And it's one of the few steps in this that is actually going to require you developing a touch. Otherwise with this you'll make very consistent ammo. Uh, I used to make ammo with this all the time. And it can be quite accurate. Uh, everything is done pretty much the same way every time. And it's just really consistent. I've made some really accurate ammo with these things. I guess he likes to brag about the fact that We've had some world records set with these die sets. Yeah. side of me, but no one believes that anymore. go. Five rounds. I don't know how long it took. With practice it would be a little bit faster. But it works very well. The entire loading kit, because the pictures of them before, goes into a box that size, put them out. It is an exceptionally efficient way to reload. Especially if you're in tight quarters or if you want like to load at the range to do some load development at the range. I had forgotten just how much fun this was. I've also forgotten how to pack it. But uh, I recommend it. This is 20 bucks. If you just don't think you have the money to reload, 22 bucks is all it takes. 22 bucks for this. I do recommend getting a full kit of the dippers. Uh, that's another 12 bucks or so. Under $40, you have everything you need to reload. Really nice ammo. Uh, and I hope this has been of some use to someone. Well, thank you for watching.